Howdy and welcome to Saturday Afternoon Football. Dennis Cometti here, broadcasting live. Half the seats are filled. I think that's as good as it's going to get. When they talk about great Tigers, the man to the right of me is always on the short list. Welcome, Matthew Richardson. How are you, Dan? Today's an exciting match. Today's match between the Magpies and the Cats. A big roar. The Cats enter the arena. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banner looks great and everything is spelt correctly. Mind you, I'm the last man to ask. Umpire tosses the coin. The Cats winning the toss. Round four. Well, they say patience is a virtue, but if we wait any longer for the siren to kick things off, I'm sure this crowd will get a little unruly and maybe take matters into their own hands. The game is underway. The will to win is important, but the will to prepare is vital. Smith with a big fist on it, takes possession. Interception. The ball came out of the pack like a wet salmon, going for goal number one. Ablett has just shaved the post. It's a behind. Geelong by a point. He'll be looking to spot the player on the burst. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That is the pig. Bumps the pig skin. Nice mark under pressure. Kicks it. Simply outplayed the opposition there. Menzel on the borderline of his range. Nice hands. Choose to kick it. Golsack claims the ball, jams it on the boot. Good mark by Dangerfield. Gets boot to high. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Nice hands. Taylor on the borderline of his range. He's on a 30 degree angle. Takes that one strongly. 30 meters from home. Murdoch going for number one. Chalk up a goal for Geelong. Murdoch getting his first. The game officially underway now. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. He acknowledges the crowd. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Grundy thumps it forward. Pendlebury feeds it wide. Kola Jasny with the tap. Border control will be keen to look at this trafficking. Guided down nicely by Cramer. Oscar Elliott on the ball at the moment. He was never going to get that. Smith made the awkward bounce look easy. He's got great hands. He gets a fist to it, side bottom, has the ball, he lays off the pass, he heads into home. Elliot takes a contested mark. Elliot goes for home. Teammate scrambling to make a lead. The spilled ball is collected. Deft touch from Stewart. Tui with the tap. Guided down nicely by Pendlebury. Tapped by Pendlebury. Side bottom hands it back to Blair. Going for goal number one. The goal for the Magpies. Level scores now.
Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. Blitz celebrates. All is in readiness. The umpire has bounced the ball. Grundy wasn't even close to that tap, and he'd be crazy to think that type of effort will win any time soon. Taylor will need to give his feet a pep talk for this kick. Picked a goal by Taylor. To be generous, you'd say he was just wide of the mark with that shot. Point the difference. Broomhead, he's the heart and soul of this footy club. I don't think he'll be going anywhere anytime soon. He kicks the ball. That's a nice, strong mark. Primary lines up. Adams wins the contested ball. Puts boot to ball. Great hands. He boots it. That's a nice, strong mark. Grundy sends the ball on its way. Over the top of the pack. Pendlebrick's just ridiculously consistent. I'd like to see a clanger from him for a change. When coaches have someone like him in the lineup, they can just sleep a lot easier knowing how reliable he is. Maynard with a strong mark. Get back in from this position. Maynard hammers the ball for goal. That's two in a row for the Magpies. The Magpies on top. He'll kick. It's not a bad sort of a kick either. It's a goal. Maynard knows that was something special. Both Ruckman have their eyes on the ball. A dead straight bounce. Batted down nicely by Grundy. Gets a handball away. Side bottom gets the ball. Smith taps, guided by Grundy, guided by Collar Jasney. He's able to thread a needle, and that kick comes out of the pack. Phillips has so much potential, he could just be anything. Blair goes for goal. Blair, you beauty. He's putting on a masterclass with goals like that. Celebration time after that one for Blair. The Ruckman giving each other the ice-cold killer stare-downs as they wait for the bounce. Punch by Grundy. Perlow for the short hand pass. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. Smith really gets onto this one. Gathered by Fasola. Fasola with the tap. The loose ball picked up by Blair. Thurlow with the tap. Picked up the ball. Gets the loose ball. Lobs the handball. Kicks. Nice mark under pressure. Kicked by Taylor. Well, you can really tell he loves taking a contested mark. Geelong just aren't running for each other and creating any space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many shots inside 50. Stanley boots it. Good mark. Meningola slams the ball to his boot. A routine, strictly speaking, is not a routine if you have to think about it. Taylor sends the ball on its way. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. He takes the shot. <laughs> I hope everyone at home is recording this match. I don't see it, but this is definitely a moment worth preserving. He scores, he scores, he scores. What an absolute classic. Celebration time after that one for Murdoch. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Grundy has got a few tricks up his sleeve, so defenders will have to be on their game. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. 
Guided down nicely by Smith. Controlled by Blair. He's got it. He's looking good. I think he can. It's with him now. He kicks it. Oh, and what about that? That was really special. Maynard kicks his second. Maynard is good, but he doesn't always find that best option while in congestion. That replay shows just how good that goal was. Maynard knows that was something special. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Grundy got a fist on it, scoops up the ball. Greenwood looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Grundy just has endless possibilities. I'm really excited to watch this kid grow. Phillips goes for home. Duncan gains the loose ball. Blair heading for goal. Thurlow gathers the ball. He holds onto it too long and it'll be a free. Chalk up a goal for Collingwood. That's two in a row for the Magpies. The Magpies in front. What did you make of the first term, Richard? Geelong need to break the scoring momentum that we're seeing. They need to rotate their flexible personnel and alter the trend of the game. The scores were very high in that term. Is there anything interesting in the stats, Richo? The tackling abilities on display from both sides appear close on the scoreboard with Geelong on seven and the mag... Here we go again, quarter number two. If you aren't going all the way, why go at all? Smith decisively. Dangerfield somehow manages to get that ball out with all those players around him. Picture perfect drop punt. Takes that one strongly. Let's hope the shot of goal is as good as the delivery. 35 metres out. Taylor going for number one. Goal to Geelong. Geelong, no need to worry just yet. Taylor has been a solid contributor for this team. His coach will know what to expect from him week to week, which really helps when structuring the team. That replay shows just how good that goal was. His face says it all. The Rucks prepare to go at it for this bounce. Here's the bounce. Smith is a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Nice bit of power then. That's a nice strong mark. Murdoch has a kick. Score for Geelong. I've got to say, that's even a better goal the second time around. Murdoch celebrates. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Guided down nicely by Smith. Grundy on the ball at the moment, takes possession. Gathered by Thurlow. Ball up in the center square. Smith gets the tap. Dangerfield with the mighty fist. Gets boot to leather. Gregson gets the mark without contest. Kicks it across the ground. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. Minus the peg. Out of bounds in the pocket. The throw is accurate. Grundy hits it with the ball now. Dangerfield has a lot of passion for this game. You can see it every time he steps onto the field. He's an inspiration to all players around him. Grundy handballs it. Trelaw puts his boot on it. For Solo, wins the contested ball. He kicks it long. 
Greenwood marks the ball. Kicks. Hurlow has a great set of hands. Fantastic mark. Slams it on the boot. Dangerfield marks it. Slams it on the boot. Hands like dinner plates. Collard Jasny's got good knowledge of the game and he can see the events unfolding in front of him, but he just needs to react a little faster. He gets boot to the ball. Strong mark there. Sending it on its way. It's a mark. Side bottom. Puts his boot on it. Phillips takes a contested mark. He'll need a long-range boomer from here. He's kicking on about 45 degrees from here. He has a mighty kick of the foot. Oscar Elliott over the top. Blair ran to meet the ball and took the mark superbly. 45 metres out. He's getting accustomed to kicking goals. Blair just makes the goal line. That's number three. Collingwood with a handy break, leading the Cats 37 to 26. Replays are great when you can see how talented these guys are at conjuring something out of nothing. Blair is relieved to see that one go through. All is in readiness. The umpire has bounced the ball. Smith really gets onto this one. He's got the footy in his hands. He takes control of the loose ball. He has the ball. Kicks. Nice mark under pressure. Choose to kick it. Selwood claims it. Selwood has got some sure hands. He doesn't often fumble the loose ball. Dangerfield puts his boot on it. Strong mark there. Meningol left. Slams the ball to his boot. Smith lining up with the goals. He kicks it long. He gets the upper hand. He's a long way from home, but he's a chance. A 45-degree shot is not too hard. He just has to keep his cool. Reid with the mark. Choose to kick it. And the mark will be paid. Spears a low ball. A great effort. Greenwood slams it on the boot. And the mark will be paid. Grundy is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight wall. He kicks the ball. A great mark under pressure. Maynard goes for home. That's a goal. Collingwood lead. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. Maynard knows that was something special. Tap by Moore. Blair decisively. Clean tap by Greenwood. Elliott with the tap. Stanley controls it. They've conceded possession. Stewart looking a real threat out there when he pulls in contested marks like that one. Tui claims the ball. Tui is very loyal, but it's not that hard when you're doing what you love. Puts boot to ball. He takes the contested mark. Fasolo passes it. It's intercepted. Wall up call. Smith wears his heart on his sleeve and he just bleeds for this footy club. Tui onto the ball. He slams that on the boot. He manages to intercept the bouncing ball. Trelaw takes the mark. Boots it. Blair claims it. Look at the concentration on his face as he lines up for the goal. Jams it on the boot. Nice mark there. Kicks. Vasolo gets the tap. Out of bounds it goes. Thrown in majestically. Cleared by Smith. The loose ball picked up. Stanley gets the ball out of the pack. Puts boot to ball. Nice contested mark by Meningola. Hastily kicked. Takes it well. Chip kick along the wing. Dangerfield wins the marking contest. Gets boot to leather. 
He's no oil painting, but look at him climbing the pack like a pop-up toaster. The siren sounds, and that's the end of the second term. The scores, the Magpies, 43 to Geelong, 26. The Magpies need to become a team who always want to do better than others. Love the competition. Really stamp their authority on the contest. Let's see what this... The third term is underway. What to do with a mistake? Recognise it, admit it, learn from it, then forget it. Blair slams it on the boot, and the mark will be paid. Greenwood keeping it low. A good mark under the circumstances. Nice drop punt. Vasily presents and takes the mark. A long way out. Going for goal number one. Took up a goal for the Magpies. That will settle his nerves. The first goal is always welcome. Vasilik extends the lead from that kick. Well, that's what we've come to expect from him. Fantastic goal. Smiles all round. The Ruckman conscious of where their teammates are. They wait for the bounce. He takes the footy. Thurlow with the interception. It's been cut off. Side bottom. Puts his boot on it. He can't bring that mark down. Maynard taps the ball. Elliott picks it up. He taps it. Henderson with the spoil. The ball is out of bounds. Grundy totally outclassed in that contest. Sends the Sharon on its way. Steady hands there as he holds that one. Plays it across half back. Great mark under pressure. Booted by Thurlow. Nice hands. Trims the grass with that one. Wins the hard ball. Not a pretty drop punt, but it gets away okay. The Cats just can't find a free man inside 50, and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. Trelaw slams the ball to his boot. He gets boot to the ball. Just wasn't able to grab it cleanly. He knocks it down. For Solo, sharks the ball away. Stewart intercepts it. He slams that on the boot. Lining up the goal now. Puts boot to ball. What did they used to say at school? Butterfingers lets it drop. Right now he looks like a man in a darkened room trying to discover where all the furniture is. Slams it on the boot. A nice running mark. Ablett picks it. A nice uncontested mark for Reed. Reed is a great mark on the lead, but he can sometimes get worked under the ball in the contest. If he can lift his overhead capability, he will be a star. For Solo, by hand. Maynard going for home. Nice kick. Calling with over. The catch by 29. He's putting on a masterclass with goals like that. Mena shows the goal umpire the right signal. Umpire has the ball ready for the center bounce. Good tap from Grundy. Cramerick with the football. Gets the ball out of heavy traffic. Nice contested mark by Greenwood. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Puts boot to ball. Wins the hard ball. Kick by Trelaw. A mark by Blair. A desperate kick there. These possessions just keep ticking over for Henderson. Gains possession. Well, he sold the dummy. He sold it hook, line, and center. The Magpies leads by 35. I'll put a cork in that goal. That's vintage stuff. And I bet he'll only get better with time. Very happy with that kick. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Smith is superb with his ruck work. Once his eyes are locked onto the ball, 
there's little chance he won't get a fist to it. Tap. For Solo, with the kick. Grundy with the tap. Smith with the mighty fist. Tap by Grundy. Adams with the tap. Passed by Golsa. Pendlebury has had plenty of it, Richo. Yes, he's giving 100% right now. Duncan takes it well. Kicks. Nice hands. The Cats just can't find a free man inside 50, and it's really having an impact on the scoreboard. Puts boot to ball. A nice contested mark. McCarthy kicks it. That's a mark. Menzel getting into position for the kick. Menzel with the shot. Murdoch has it. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. 20 metres out. Impossible scoring position. Murdoch slams one on the boot for goal. The Cats, they're just being completely humiliated right here. Looks like he's going to go long. Great mark. Out sends the ball on its way. Marks. Adams, he's not the biggest threat on the field, but he can make his opponent accountable, and he requires a watchful eye at times. It takes a big bump. You get a ball up on the wing. Grundy decisively. Guided by Dangerfield. Tapped by Trelaw. Deft touch from Menzel. Gets the loose ball. Slams it on the boot. Broomhead with the mark. He steers it out of the defensive 50. A great effort. Sends it on its way. Bounces favorably for Blair. He's had lots of touches this match. The ball over the line. Umpire calls for a throw in. The umpires with a good throw. Knocks it down in front. Adler passes it. Selwood slams it on the boot. The ball goes over the boundary on the wing. And we'll get a throw in. Umpire throws the ball in. Grundy has shown a lot of character with his recent performances. For Solo takes the mark, puts boot to ball. A nice contested mark. Blair puts his boot on it. He takes a strong mark. Going for goal number six. A miss from Mona. The Magpies leads by 35. Henderson looking for a lead. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. As cool as a prize marrow as he lines up for this shot. The Magpies get the scoreboard ticking over with that goal. That's his first. Collingwood could scored in the last five goals. Collingwood with a healthy gap on the scoreboard, leading Geelong 68 to 27. There's the siren for the end of the third quarter. The scores at the Magpies 68 to the Cats 27. Well, they're still in it, but they need something to ignite them in this last quarter. They can't expect their opposition to hand it to them. We'll get a rich over for this stance. Neither team are giving an inch in the terms of marking. Collingwood on 57 and the Cats on 47. Both teams fairly close in the handball stats, 18 to 12. Haven't thought of it quite like that, Richard.
The players are starting to feel the strain of the first three quarters now. Push yourself again and again. Don't give an inch until the final siren sounds. Ball up in the centre square. Smith with first hands to the ball. The loose ball scooped up. Trelaw sends it to open space. It's impossible to outplay an opponent. You can't outthink. Think about that. The ball is hammered towards goal by Blair. Collingwood by seven goals. Henderson, a smart guy, but he's got to keep a cool ahead so he can make the right decisions more often. Stanley wins the contested ball, sending it on its way. Pendlebury with real good use of the body. Puts boot to ball. Side bottom with a strong mark. 50 metres out, and he's kicking on a 30-degree angle. This could prove difficult for him. Football is not, never has claimed to be a fair game. Collingwood by 43. He looks for a man on the lead. Henderson plays on. Jams it on the boot now. He has space for an easy mark. Goes up the line. A great effort. Trelaw setting his sights on the goals. He gives the ball a mighty roost. Phillips wins the marking contest. Phillips likes his chances for goal. He gave it a crack, but it sailed wide of the goal. The Magpies in front. Henderson to bring it in. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. Stewart can read the play really well. I think he's definitely on his way to becoming one of the best in the league. Burlow with good strong hands. Puts boot to ball. He takes the contested mark. Puts boot to ball. He gets it under pressure. A lovely drop pass. Nice work from Selwood. He kicks the ball. Meningola takes the mark. Delivers the footy with a beautiful drop pass. Opportunity now for Smith. He'll need a long-range boomer from here. Going for goal number one. Nice kick. There's lots of time left, but a miracle is needed to close this gap. Oh, he'll be loving that goal when he sees it in the highlights package. Smith celebrates. You can feel the intensity build as both Ruckman prepare for the bounce. Smith is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Grundy without a touch, the clearance by Smith. Golsack with the mighty fist. Cleanly picked up. Ablett sends the ball on its way. Clean pick up by Minangola. Well done to keep it alive under pressure. Read decisively. Minangola taps. Menzel Perez is in his possession. Taylor chips it to the pocket. And they like it behind the goals. He likes it. Goal. That's two now. He's playing well. He scores, he scores, he scores. What an absolute classic. Taylor is relieved to see that one go through. A brief moment of serenity before the ball is bounced and the Ruckman unleash. Punched by Smith. Golsack controls. Gets boot to high. A great effort. Blair has to stay committed. Then with a little bit of guts and determination, he should make something of his career. Maynard goes for home. That miss is going to come back to haunt him. Collingwood are over. Geelong. Henderson has a fair kick on him. I expect him to roost this down the middle. Puts boot to ball. Tap by Aish. He runs into the goal. You wouldn't believe it. It shaved the goal post. The Magpies leads by 34. Not much on offer for Henderson. He kicks it to himself. Boots it. Marked by Fasola. Word is this guy is the most reliable kick for goal on the side. 45 metres out. Going for goal number two. 
You can see that happening right after it left his boot. Collingwood starting to exert some dominance over the Cats with the lead of 74 to 39. It's time to roll the dice out there and see how the game might open up. Yes, the Cats might get hurt on the rebound, but I think more scoring opportunities will present themselves. Selwood with the kick. Pendlebury really forced to earn that mark. Sending it on its way. It takes a strong mark. Talking to a football doesn't do much good unless you do it while your opponent is lining up. Marks, Maynard, urged on by the crowd, prepares to kick, 35 metres out. Maynard tries his luck with a shot at goal. Collingwood are in control of this game. Maynard is creative with his game. He always makes an appearance on the highlight reel. Like a banana through a letterbox. What a wonderful goal. Mena knows that was something special. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Good bounce. Smith taps it. He controls the bouncing ball. Pendlebury is streaming past and gets the footy. Tap. Tap. Ablett taps it. Goldsack mops up the ball. Trelaw with the ball. Sending it on its way. Greenwood with good strong hands. He gives the ball a mighty roost. Almost a touch of synchronized swimming about that mark. That was the peg. Minangola controls it. He seems to have the ball on a string, Richard. You're right, Dennis. He's an absolute ball magnet. And the mark will be paid. Perspiring like a pudding in a pot as he lines the shot up. Kicks it across the ground. He had his eye on the ball all the way and took the mark well. 45 metres out. Phillips takes a shot. Phillips manages to sneak it through. That's two in a row for the Magpies. That could be the final nail in the coffin. Like a banana through a letterbox. What a wonderful goal. He's excited about that one. The umpire set to bounce to restart the game. Grundy guides it. Perlow controls it. Tackle, but gets the handball off. He's got the footy in his hands. Handball finds Hoskin Elliott. Gets boot to leather. Stuck the mitts out and held on to it. Gregson loves to take a screamer. And I think the coach won't mind him having a crack. But as he gets better and better, he'll provide real X factor for his team. Taylor puts his boot on it. McCarthy lining up with the goals. Going for goal number one. McCarthy with a great kick. Geelong get the badly needed goal. They've got nothing to lose here apart from this match. Ruckman awaiting the bounce. Here we go. Not much time remaining in the match. Moves it quickly by hand. Dangerfield intercepts it. Cramery on the ball at the moment. Kicks. A mark by Menzel. Lining up the goal now. 45 metres out. It's gone through for a magnificent behind. The Cats were really taken to task. Richo, did you enjoy the matchup between the Magpies and Geelong? In this business, I reckon winning is everything. The only ones who remember when you lose are your wife and your dog. Hopefully for their sake, they recognise them when they get home.
The final scores are the Magpies 36, the Cats 46. Well, Richo, it's been a fun match. We've enjoyed that one. It's been my pleasure, Dennis. We look forward to having everyone back soon.